Appreciate you, Noah. What were the offense able to do there at the end of the game when you guys couldn't get off the field? You made stops the entire way up until the very end. Yeah, uh, I mean, they executed in situations. Um, as an offense, they they just beat us. You know, they, they like I said, they executed in situations, and we didn't. So that was pretty much the moral of the story the whole day, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you, co- you, gave, you kept your offense in it um, for the entire game. You know, they had five field goals in the one-point game at the mm-hmm. very end. Other than the last drive, how do you feel about what you guys were able to do? Uh, it's not good enough. You know, I think there was a lot of plays left there on the field, um, myself included. And I just think that, you know, we have to, as a defense, take over games. You know, it's not enough to be able to stay in them. You know, it's, it's more so we have to take them over. We got to um, generate as many turnovers as we can, every opportunity that we get. Uh, we got to punch the ball. We got to force fumbles. We got to do a lot of things uh, better as a defense and then ultimately just play uh, complete team football in every phase. In the fourth and sixth, towards the end of the game, Mike Gray was relaxed to I mean, it's our job to stop guys, and it's his job to coach. So uh, we left it, we leave that up to him, and then we uh, take care. We have to take her on the field every time we get on the field. Like I said, uh, it's our job, like I said, to take it over and, and do the things that we have to do to get the ball back to them. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's frustrating to give up any kind of play, especially chunk plays, but at the end of the day, it's football. You know, it's, it's going to be a swing of emotions. It's going to be a swing of uh, plays where they go. It's going to be plays where we, you know, got the advantage. So I think that, um, like I said, they executed in situations where they needed it, and um, we did not. So next time we're on the field and next time we practice, we need to um, harp on um, executing on, on the situations that we need to execute on. So obviously it's, it's, a, it's a little disappointing for sure. Does it, does it make a more disappointing on fourth and six instead of going for it, they kick the field goal, put the, put the ball in your, in your court to, to win the game? Does that make it doubly disappointing? I mean, that's, that's what I said. At the end of the day, like, they depend, offense was counting on us. We counted on them. And right there, you know, that was our opportunity uh, as a defense to, you know, come up big. And it uh, really was on me that third and four. Uh, tried to shoot the gap, and I just got to make it. Uh, he squirted it through there. and. Uh, Jamal Williams is a great running back. And, you know, I, I don't remember who it was, but somebody forced a fumble, and that was great. But we got to try to find a way to recover. So uh, it was just, you know, and that last play isn't always the play that that loses you a game, but each play becomes more crucial as the game goes on because it's obviously less and less time. Yeah, you know, you kick the field goal to, to put us out there. That's what I'm saying. They, they, they're counting on us, obviously. And, uh, when, when he makes that decision, it's because he knows, he believes that we'll get the offense the ball back. So you know, we, we practice those situations all training camp. Um, and, you know, we were prepared, but we just got to execute better. So They didn't have a very consistent moment, but they were finding chunk plays that were enough yeah. for them to survive. Yeah. How frustrating was that that they were uh, yeah. finding those? Obviously, you can't give up uh, explosives in this league. Uh, because, yeah, you can stop them the first, second down. Third down comes, they get a 20-yard gain, and now you're back doing the same thing over and over. Uh, so you uh, just got to find a way to execute, you know, play better than them. You know, the defense played a really good game, and they outplayed our defense. You know, we got the ball, they got the ball. You know, just got, got to keep keep going as hard as we can and keep figuring out where we can be better and just stick together as week one. Like I said, regardless whether we win or lose, we got to turn the page. So about 24 hours tomorrow around 3.30, should be on to the next. Uh, we play the Chargers, so that's that's what my focus is going to be after 3 o'clock tomorrow. What's kind of the plan for the kickoffs uh, today? Uh, I mean, just kick away and, and go cover. So uh, I think we did a good job. We got a turnover on one of them, had them at the 12 or so on one. So um, guys went down there, flying down there, made some good plays. So um, hopefully we keep it up for another 16 games. How do you, obviously you want to get out there and hit everything they give you, but you don't want to be all in the offense at the same time. Kind of sort through that. I'm also that. Um, I've said it a lot. I'll say it again. If I have to kick all field goals, I'll kick field goals. If I have to kick extra points, kick extra points. Um, as most important thing is getting the W. Um, and, we, you know, we kind of came up a point short today. So um, sometimes I wish 50 or field goals were worth four points, but that's my own opinion. Thanks, um, you know, um, they, they made one more play at the end there than, than we did, and that's kind of it. So, yep. So it's just to win. But I think we, we have a lot to build on. I think we, we did a lot, a lot of good things uh, offensively, defensively. 
a special team, but we just gotta uh, we gotta build on those things. Yep. Yeah. When they blew the after the Yeah. What do you do about the consistency? You just keep going. I mean, uh, I've been in the league six years. Nine times out of ten, once you think it's a sack fumble and then they blow the play dead, nine times out of ten they gonna call it an incomplete pass. But um, I mean, we just gotta keep fighting, keep going. Running back chipping, tight end chipping, running back chipping inside. So they was doing, they were chipping all all different types of ways. Um, so they did they did do do a better job of trying to contain the pass rush in the second half. You guys feel like you set the tone maybe in this one earlier that maybe the Yeah, we we definitely set the tone as far as the front the front seven. Um, doing what we do, uh, but we just didn't come out with the win. So we just we, we did a lot. Today. We did a lot of good stuff today. We just got to build on. Do you, do you see that as positive going forward? Definitely, definitely, yes, sir. Well, based off what we did today on the field, uh, we got to check the film just to see exactly what we did. But from me, Nico, uh, Jeff, I mean, I think we made our plays. We made the plays that that came to us today, and we just got to build on those things.